thank you to Acronis for sponsoring today's video. Oh, you're just gonna just hand me the thing. Gent oh, you know what? Anytime the item is gently handed, it means it's expensive or something that Ken and or Matt want to steal. Is it both? It is delicate. Okay. The Venom Sound Ferrofluid Music Mate 1. So if you're not familiar with Ferrofluid, I believe it's just like iron and sort of like floating in water and it's used, like they use magnets to basically make it do oh, stuff. Oh, I, th I, thought, I thought it was feral fluid. Feral fluid? It was wild fluid. Like, like a feral animal, like a ferret. So the last time we took a look at one of these, it was very cool and was broken out of the box. So here's hoping this one actually functions. This product does not include speakers and cannot make sound. What? Oh, wait, what? Wait, wait, wait a minute, minute. wait a minute, Venom wait sound. a minute. <laughs> okay, all right, let's see. I thought there was a speaker. So this is the Venom sound. So it's it's got this like, it looks like wood, but it's definitely like plastic or it almost feels like kind of like rubbery. So on the back, we've got a mic, which is closed up, so I don't think that works. USB-C in, and we've got an on-off switch. So it is battery powered. Um, now you can see the ferro fluid, so they actually include a little magnet. So we can use the magnet to move that fluid around, kind of get it all sort of gathered up. It's literally stuck, do you see that? It's like I'm scrubbing the toilet bowl. What? What does your toilet bowl look like? Like this. <laughs> oh, wait, that is a mic. So watch this. Hello, it is me. I am talking. It looks trippy. All right, so I guess the idea is that you can play music beside it and it will react to your music. So at least it's fairly straightforward. What do we think about this? Because like this is cool. I agree. This is legitimately cool. But how much is it? Do we have any idea? We bought it for 130. 130 United States Freedom Units? Yikes. That's a hundred dollars more than I would pay for this. I felt a lot better about that when I thought it was a speaker. <laughs> yeah, I thought I, th I same. Ring a ring a ring, ring a ring, red button. Ayo, these are, oh, these are the statuses. The between threes, okay. This is a very competitive segment between AirPods, between Samsung, and especially between Sony, which if you've watched Mystery Tech before, you'll know that I've been largely on the Sony earbud train for the last several years. So what's the price uh, price point of these? So right now on the website, uh, consistently 200 bucks. Okay, so very much in that super competitive space. That's a pretty big case. You can see compared to my 1000X Mark Vs, which to be fair, are more expensive. We're now successfully paired. Well, let's give these a try. So the buttons on each earbud are more so for your settings. So turning on and off like active noise canceling, calling your assistant or whatever. And then the actual touch surfaces are much more so for like control you know, play, pause, and whatnot. Everything so far is really kind of leaning me more toward these are gonna need to sound really good to be worth the 200 bucks. They sound really, really nice. That audio file grade setup is, is terrific. And I like the fact that they've got the long battery, but I don't like the fact that they're not immensely comfortable. I personally prefer a lighter weight earbud. And I also prefer the active noise canceling and the transparency on some of the other devices. It's not a huge difference, but at this kind of price, you kind of need to have the whole package and it's like 90% there. A huge thank you to the sponsor of today's video, Acronis. Acronis Cyber Protect Home Office provides complete protection for your data and digital life. It is the only personal solution with a unique integration of cybersecurity and backup technologies. Safeguard your sensitive data against all kinds of modern threats, like cutting edge cyber attacks, accidental deletion, disk failure, or device loss. And I've experienced more than my fair share of most of those. Sure, you can get a separate service that backs up your data and another service that protects against ransomware and another antivirus, but Acronis does it all. It saves you time, money, and it's dead simple to manage everything from a single interface. Back up your data to the cloud so you can access it from just about anywhere. As long as you use Acronis, you have guaranteed data recovery. It must for any student, working professional, or anyone who has precious data they need to protect, which should be everyone. Use the code AustinEvans2023 for a 40% discount, which can be used for all home office products. And thank you again to Acronis for sponsoring today's video. Oh, hello there. Is that the, the OnePlus? open? I will say that we're recording this in late September of 2023. Um, Ken, I know you usually went to a OnePlus event. Yes. 
And uh, is this the folding phone? Yes. Okay, this is gonna be some real mystery tech Cause like, I know zero, nada, zilch about this one. Is this the actual retail box? Yep. Oh, that's neat. Look, you see how it, like the whole thing like pulls forward? So, oh, it's a smaller phone. Wait, now hold on a second. I thought it was gonna be one of those big chunguses, the, the folds and whatnot. This is actually a legitimately smaller phone. Okay. Initial impressions, heavy, but um, I do like the width. I like how they still have the OnePlus slider on it. Um, and the flash is separate, which is kind of interesting. Can you see the phone behind that camera bump? Whoo, very small, like uh, crease. Um, in fact, from some angles and light, that that's like not even a crease. But with my finger, like Matt, I know you hate creases. Feel that. Does that bother you? Because that's, that's really minimal. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's pretty. That's pretty solid. Yeah, that is way better than than that's, like the folder, especially when you turn it on. Yeah, that's, um, it'll you won't see it at all. Okay, that, well, that, me, that's impressive. It comes pre-installed with Discord. I logged into Ken's account. Ha! Huh, interesting. Was this pre-unboxed, Ken? Uh, it, look, you spent a lot of time setting up phones on Mystery Tech. Mm. I, I decided to help you. Interesting. Set it up. Interesting. Interesting. Oh, we're logged into Ken's Twitter account too. Let's take a little look here. You know, just to oh, Ooh. Ken, we gotta talk about this. So whoop, whoop, whoop. That's cool. See, I like that kind of stuff because we have to consider that while folding phones have been around for a little bit. They're still pretty new, and this is OnePlus's first folding phone. A lot of brands have just started to kind of get into it. There's a lot more optimization and neat things you can do. Okay, so uh, we've got ourselves, let's, let's pop open that camera. Essentially, I guess what we're looking at here is for the 3X, this is the actual full 64 megapixel photo. I'm assuming it's being bent down, but whatever. It, very, very nice looking photo. The 6X is a crop in digitally, but much like the way that the uh, the newer iPhones will do 1X and 2X, it's just a crop and you'll still get the 12 megapixels. It's a similar thing here. And I'll say even the, the, the crop here, I mean, look at those beautiful eyes. I mean, have you ever been lost in a single eyeball? Uh, <clears throat> oh, what? Well, sorry, Matt. I just, uh, you just fed the internet on that one. This is what it looks like, a little video sample straight from the OnePlus. Uh, it looks decent. Let me actually go ahead and zoom out to ultra wide. Now, ultra wide, I think, is always better for vlogging. Like, it looks fine. It's not particularly impressive. I'll give them points for clearly, like, competent hardware there, needs some work, but some of the fundamentals are decent. I think color is largely pretty good in photo mode. Video mode still needs some work. So, it is $16.99. That's not it. That's not it. Yeah, That's but it. here's the thing. Mm. A lot of us were like, hey, why don't you make this a $1,500 device? And they have a thing on the OnePlus website that they promise will be in perpetuity for as long as they're selling this thing, where they'll take any phone at any condition and knock off $200 off the price so in addition to So I can to trade in my iPhone 5C that has a busted screen and no shell anymore and they'll give me 200 bucks off? Yep. <sighs> That's better, that's certainly better. If I'm basically spending Pixel or Samsung money, this needs to be, not only as good, it almost kind of needs to be better. And I'm, at first glance, feeling this is a little bit more equivalent. But, Ken, by the time this video goes live, the Denki video will already have been live for a while, right? Yep. So, let us know if it's actually good or not. But I'm, at first glance, I'm curious, but not sold would be the way I would describe it. It's also heavy. Jesus. This is the Park Sung Game Card Reader Quick Changing Switch. Wait, 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 wait. Is this like a... Sure is, Is this buddy. like a 6CD changer except for Switch games? Yes. It's like the back of a Lexus. How much is this Quick Changing Game Card Switch? Guide? How much do you think it is? 20 bucks. $32.99. I don't understand the need, so sure. Who's got time to switch out all your cartridges? Wait, so I, I need power for this, so I assume that you're gonna have to use this docked. Oh, no, okay, I got it slightly wrong. So it doesn't go in the hole, it goes over the hole. Oh, yeah, yeah I know what that's yeah. like. They taught you that in school. Yeah. Are we talking about the Switch? Yeah. 
Okay, cool. All right, so I'm gonna open up my game card slot and pull out the copy of Smash. Okay, so I'm going to insert this into the slot. So I can put my games in the bottom slots, which these are all just storage, or I can put them in the actual slots. This is one, and then I'll put this as two. Okay, so right now it sees Smash. Okay, so I'm gonna hit the button. Oh, so it straight works. So I have two games installed, so I have the train game, and I'll just hit it again, and then it switches over. Wow. I mean, that, that does just work. Okay. That's really impressive, holy crap. So there's a little button on top here. I'll probably have to get a B-roll. It changes color based on which game you're in. So I assume like each slot has like orange, red, pink, whatever. The problem is like, okay, so this works, but it's only for docked mode. It also is not really designed for more than four games. The other games are just like there for like your storage, which is fine. But like, if I care that much about it, am I not just going to buy some digital games? All right, so let's do this. Let's see what happens when I hit the button. Okay, so the Switch actually handles it fairly gracefully. This is an interesting one because it actually does exactly what it says on the 10. The only real complaint I have about it is the fact that the uh, tolerances seem less than ideal. Like when I'm putting these games in and out, there's like a point like halfway through the click, which feels like I'm like grinding it in a little bit. It doesn't feel smooth, nowhere near as nice as actually putting it into the Switch itself. So that's probably the main concern is that this might do some damage to your carts long term. But if you play your Switch in docked mode, own a lot of physical games, and don't want to get up and change them, and don't want to buy the digital copies, great product! You, uh, no, 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 I was gonna do a gag, no, no, I was gonna do a gag where I could put my hand up and it like magically appears in my hand. You already did that. Book, box, note air two plus. An eating tablet? Well, that's a dumb idea. Why would you want an e-ink tablet? 10.3 inch, 1872 by 1404 display, front lit, capacitive and stylus, with an octa-core processor and Android 11. All right. Wow, that's a big boy. It's very thin though. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, hold on. That thinness is actually legit. I will give this a, a moment of, of consideration. Oh, and it's green. It's green. Do you see that green? Ooh, ooh, okay, you know what? All that dumb things, uh, all the things I said that were dumb that were like, I don't like this thing, um, it's it's actually kind of nice. It's almost like you don't judge a book by its cover. You know, I judged an ebook by its box. <laughs> Dark color enhancement, light color filter. So clearly there's a lot of custom stuff they've done with this version of Android to optimize it for e-ink. Okay, got it. This backlight's actually really cool. So in a fairly dark environment like this, it is honestly brighter than I would actually want to run it. Like I actually would turn it down a little bit. But if you're using any kind of like normal ambient lighting, the actual screen is super readable. Now, because it's e-ink, there's a lot of um, ghosting on the display, a lot of sort of older images that kind of stick in. Now, I will say it's not really great for scrolling though. It's probably better for like actual like page flips because you do still have a little bit of the smearing, um, which I'm sure it will eventually clear if I keep like reading. But I will say like this refresh rate and responsiveness, legitimately pretty nice. So they're pushing this as a premium device. So it's priced like one. Okay, and what, okay, uh, 300 bucks. Nope. 400 bucks? Nope. 500 bucks? Bingo. I'm sure there are many fine people in the comments who are gonna tell me why it's worth the money and all the cool features this has. And I agree, it's a nice piece of hardware. It feels really cool. This display is pretty solid, but um, 500 bucks is a lot of money. Austin, you know what I haven't told you in a while? That I'm handsome and really attractive and well worth ringling the dangling button for. Oh, this is gonna make what I say now awkward. Take it off, boy. No! <laughs> no! No! Glow in the dark t-shirt. Draw on your t-shirt with light. We're going to EDC today. It's fun for festivals and parties, all the glow vibes. Yeah. And <laughs> gifts for your friends. Oh. <laughs> okay. The designs last up to five minutes before slowing fade away. Same. Draw over an object or stencil to create a cool shadow effect. Um, it comes with, uh, you can draw using a glow torch or your foam flashlight. And uh, batteries are included for the light, I'm assuming. It's like a screen t-shirt, like a screen print t-shirt that was like a really thick design. Have you ever got one that's usually like a little bit cheap and maybe you got like at the mall or something and it's like a solid chunk of ink which almost feels like rubber on the middle? Like that's kind of what this feels like. 
Woo. Oh, it's black light. Oh no, I can't use that in here anymore. Why? Oh, that was weird. Let's go, bruh. I'm gonna party it up. Who needs lights when you got the black light? What, do you, what, what? Don't press those big red buttons, Matt. Don't press the big red buttons. Oh no, he's cooking. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> no, we don't talk about that. Oh, one. sense of that, please. It's gonna be really hard to tell on camera. My shirt is slightly glowing, so I'm going to start drawing on it. Oh. Can you see that on camera? Oh. Oh, oh yeah. Oh shoot. Oh, that's actually really clever. Can I get? What's a cool look? Oh, I got it. I got it. I got it. Okay, I think we got it. Everybody ready? Yeah. Go for it. Okay! <laughs> it's Robo Raptor, boys! That worked slightly better than I thought it would. Right? How much was this shirt? $30. Honestly? Kind of fun. The problem is, is that it uh, it fades away really quickly. So like, to, for the best results, you kind of have to have the light like directly on it. Let me try my foam flashlight and see how that works. Oh, uh, the problem is the foam flashlight's too like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like here, if I put it like directly here... Yeah. Oh, wait, wait. Uh, yeah. yeah. So, oh, actually, that's gonna work. House music right whoa, there. Whoa, whoa, okay. whoa, whoa. Okay, hold on. No, no, I got this. Okay. I got this. Can we get a little focus, please? Oh that's gonna be great. It's gonna be so hilarious. People are gonna love this. Wait, Matt. Yeah. I got an idea. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I win. No. Oh. <laughs> that, my friends, is a close look at the most tech you've seen in this entire episode. It's Mystery Tech. And don't forget to check out our Cronus at the link in the description. And huge thank you to them for sponsoring today's video.